everyone, my name is Rhonda Robson and welcome to my fluid art channel. I am a fluid artist right smack dab in the middle of the United States in Sioux City, Iowa. Today's video is a second video, so it's kind of a cool um, effect of multiple different types of styles of fluid art. So let me show you what it looks like, the end results. Here it is. So on this one, I did a flip cup and then I did some swipes going in a different direction from the flip cup while it was still wet. Then I let that dry. It didn't seem, I mean, it was okay, but it just needed something else. So then I did a swipe, kind of like a patchwork swipe technique, but instead of a patchwork, I did kind of like these bursts, um, almost like a firecracker burst or a flower. And um, there's multiple of them throughout. Then I felt like it still needed some more. So I took paint and I kind of just kind of went to town on it and created some lines, kind of crazy. I was having kind of a cool, fun time with it. And then afterwards, I felt like it still was needing something else. And, I, and the whole plan was to just layer multiple different techniques to see what it would look like with the same colors. I really like it. I really think it turned out really nice. It's, a, it's kind of like a chaotic mess, if you will, but it's fun, it's something different, and it's a nice accent for my other two creations that I'm making. So this is the second one, and I'll link the other two that I've done also in this, so the first one, and then the last one that I'm gonna do in the next video. Thanks for joining me today, and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. Thanks for joining me. Let's get you down on the canvas. Bye for now. Bye. Hey everyone. Okay, so today's video is going to add layers to this. So I did a um, flip cup and then I did some swipes. And so now this is dry. So now I'm going to add in some uh, Dutch pour on top of this. So that's my plan. Okay, so here I am pouring out some white, kind of like a little bit of a pillow, but not a pillow. And then I'm going to put some light green, some Payne's gray, some gold, and some silver. And what I'm trying to do here is I will flood my paint, but my canvas behind it is dry because I want to leave some of the canvas behind it. I'm not trying to cover the whole canvas with this Dutch pour. I'm just trying to do little sections of it just like I did in my last video and I'll link that right here all right here we go let's flood the paint and then let's spread it out mmm yeah not no not liking this so let's try again just using some different colors I'm gonna use the black again or the Payne's gray the light green uh, a little bit of that gold again some silver and um, let's just try to do it again. Um, the thing with doing it on a dry surface, you know, you just never know what you're gonna get. Oh, look at there, got some really cool cells, some cool webbing effect. Yeah, I'm liking that. Yeah, and that's the, the Amsterdam paint is what causes that webbing effect. And this looks like a flower. I'm not quite sure this is really what I wanna do. So uh, I might be changing this up here pretty quickly. You know how I said that at the very beginning that it's gonna be a Dutch pour, but you know from seeing the very beginning intro, it's not a Dutch pour. So here I'm just taking my tool and I'm just playing with it right now to decide what it is that I wanna do. Kind of making like some starburst. I've done a painting similar to this in the past and I'll link that one here too and that was a really big painting and that's all I did I kind of made a pinwheel if you will from it so I'm not quite sure I like this just because it's got a lot of white through it so let me try again the Dutch pour maybe a little differently layered maybe so let's just do some gold um, and some Payne's gray here, some dark green maybe, um, and then some maybe some silver too as well. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, that's not Payne's gray, that's dark green. Mm, yeah, see, I'm not liking that. So 
Let's try to use these colors and swipe it again. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna get there, but uh, I'm just gonna kind of let you see this in a faster speed like I'm doing right now and just see how I get there. And my thought process along this is just kind of plain, like I did with the last one. If you saw the last video, it, that's all I did at the end was I just started playing with it. And that's really what I think I'm gonna, it, well, I know because I'm commentating right now, but I, but I know I'm going to just continue to play with this. But as you can see, you know, what's kind of cool is you can kind of see the um, cells popping through the swiping. And I like that. So I'm just going to continue to do that. Adding in a little bit of color here, a little bit of color there. And I said I was going to let you just watch this, but I keep talking. So anyway, I'll let you watch this, listen to the music, and just enjoy the calmness of the creation. I like this, so I'm going to keep going with this.
Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed watching how I make these starbursts, their swipe starbursts, really. Just taking color and putting a little dab here and there of where I feel like I need color. But now I feel like there needs to be something more to it. So now let's have some fun. And let's just put color where color needs to go. So I'm just taking my stick that I use to stir with and I am just dribbling or dripping paint onto the areas that need to have paint. So like just now, I just put that gold up in that upper right hand corner because there's so much dark there. So it just kind of helps pop that gold there. And I'm gonna take some, all the different colors that I've got. So I'll be doing white next and the white just really pops against some of this other color. So I really like this. This is uh, one of those techniques I like to use when my composition hasn't quite worked out the way I've wanted it to so I create this like fun chaotic composition that just expresses how I'm feeling at this moment in time because I'm not quite exactly happy with the composition and so doing this just like I, I just get to like have splatters of fun anyway and that's kind of why this painting is called layers of beautiful fun. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. And um, don't forget to subscribe and to click and please comment down below about any types of things that you liked about this particular painting. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.